Hi everyone, it's Kirchi. For this Polly Pocket Showcase, I'm gonna be showing four new Polly Pockets from Mattel. Sparkle Stage Bow, Otter Aquarium, Race and Rock Arcade, and Soccer Squad. I know I'm super late on these because Mattel just released even newer ones recently, so without further ado, let's get started with a showcase. First up, we have Sparkle Stage Bow. As the name says, it is sparkly, it is a bow, and it has musical notes, which means we're gonna have a stage performance type setting. These are made of sequins, and yes, you can change the colors. I've always found this fascinating, even though it's so simple, but it's hard to fully change it to teal because it gets stuck right up here. Let me try it on this side. I guess if you really wanted to nitpick, you can just flip each one individually with tweezers. It looks pretty like this though. It has a pink outline, but if you're like me, you want everything the same and perfectly neat. That's how I like to display my toys. Now it's gonna bother me if any of the teal is showing. There we go. So right in the middle, we have some musical notes and it says number one because we took first place in our performance, whatever that performance will be. The shape is of course a bow. We can see the little tails right here. And like all the other newer Polly Pocket compacts, this one comes with a little plastic wristband so you can wear it on your wrist. Here's what it looks like and I just don't like it, especially when it's displayed. So I just took it right off. On the back, we see more bow textures. Anyway, let's open her up. The design is very similar to the other new Polly Pockets that were just released. You can check those out in my other showcases. Similar color scheme, we have purples, pinks, and teals. Then you get the random bright orange, so those are pretty much the four colors that Mattel likes to use in their compacts these days. So down here we have a stage. We actually have several different activities going on here. Down here it looks like maybe gymnastics or ballet. Here we have this contraption where you can put the characters and they can look like they're dancing or twirling. Over here is a little mini stage. Here's another platform where the characters can dance. And over here looks like the judges table. Ever so slightly, because it blends in with the background, we can see some first place, second place, third place ribbons. And down here are all of the gifts that the audience members can throw onto the stage to show their appreciation for the performance. We can also see some performance tools, rhythmic gymnastics ribbon, a megaphone, some pom-poms, so we have some cheerleading going on here. Ballet shoes, so we've got all different kinds of activities here. And right back here are a set of bleachers where the audience can sit and watch the performance. And all around the compact, we have some nice textures of musical notes. We have hearts and stars as well, and it just goes all the way around the edge. And up here, we can see some behind the scenes moments. Over here looks like that ballet bar where you can practice your plies or whatever ballet moves. I clearly know nothing about ballet, but you know what this is. And up here is our little dressing room. We have a cute heart vanity, fairy wings, super cute, lots of other accessories and costumes. And here is actually a bigger stage. We have the curtains here, the spotlights, the giant speakers. Maybe this is some kind of ballet performance, but this is also a ballet stage, so I'm a little confused. Here are the different activities again. We have cheerleading, ballet, and gymnastics. So yeah, there is quite a lot going on here in terms of activities. And when we open it up, we can see the stage. It looks like this is some kind of fairy tale play. Maybe one of those sugar plum fairy ballet. You know what? I know nothing about ballet. I'm just gonna stop talking about it. And down here, it's the same little gifts that the audience members would throw on stage. A bouquet of flowers and all that good stuff. So it's interesting that we have two stages, this bigger one and this little half one up here. But maybe looking at it this way, it isn't so confusing. There's a lower stage and an upper Per stage. Anyway, we can just use our imagination that this makes total sense. Our first character here is Polly, of course. She's always the star of the show. She's got a cute pink cheerleading outfit with the letter P on it for Polly Pocket. Here is the second character whose name I do not know. Her face resembles an anime character that I'm pretty sure I've seen before, but I can't quite remember. So her outfit looks to be a gymnast's outfit. At first I thought these were kettlebells, but they're fuzzy, so 
They are in fact pom-poms, the weirdest looking pom-poms I've ever seen. They look a little funny, but not the worst thing I've ever seen. Here's a bouquet of flowers, a first place ribbon, a first place trophy, a boom box with musical notes on the back, a camera on a tripod, a gymnastics bar, or maybe a ballet bar. You guys know I know nothing about ballet, so what is this called? Another gymnastics equipment where you hang on the rings and practice some sort of gymnast move. I'm really blanking on what all of this equipment is called. We have our first, second, and third place podiums, a trampoline, and this is actually squishy, just ever so slightly. And finally, we have a purple vanity. And of course, all of these have those little holes on the bottom now, and they fit right on those little pegs. So it looks like Mattel has found some success with these, and they're definitely sticking with it. It's definitely not perfect. For instance, I know this one goes here, but it just won't fit. Well, I guess something else can go there then. I've also mentioned this before in my other showcases, but there isn't room for every single accessory to be placed in the compact. So it does take a little trial and error. I think maybe this one can just go here, even though it's very dangerous and makes no sense. Up next, we have Otter Aquarium. Now this one is one adorable compact. This is also the first compact we've ever gotten. That's fuzzy at the front. How cute is this? It's so soft. It kind of feels like a nice rug. The expression on her face is super cute as well. And she's got a heart nose that is so adorable. I love her whiskers. Very consistent with the other animal designs where they have closed eyes with the long eyelashes. I also love how she's laying down with her hands on her stomach, as otters would, especially when they're holding onto food or a toy to play with, and her little paw prints are also cute, they have hearts on them. And I'm also loving the color scheme here. We have a pastel teal, pastel pink, and not quite pastel purple, but it is a very soft purple. So overall, the colors are very cohesive. And the little tuft of hair. The back doesn't have much detail, but you can see the ears and a little bit of the tail. Now this is super gorgeous, and this is a color scheme I haven't really seen before with the newer Polly Pockets. Maybe the closest one is the Hedgehog because it does have pastel yellows, but I am definitely loving the theme here. We're under the sea, we're with Ariel and Sebastian and Flounder. Down here is the beautiful coral reef. We're gonna pretend this isn't coral bleaching. Very nice textures of the ocean floor. Lots of coral, of course. Seashells everywhere. Seaweed. Lots of textures on the side here as well. Here's some seaweed all around the edges. Here's a platform that spins, so just another spot for our character or one of our animal friends to just play around and have fun and dance. I believe this is a toy that otters would typically play with. Some little holes where we can see clams and other sea life. This giant area with lots of colorful fish. Kind of looks like where Nemo would live. And all around here we just have the same repeated seashell, coral textures. And up here it looks a little bit like a zoo. And I'm just gonna go on to think that it's a very wonderful zoo where animals are free to roam in large, enriching habitats and not cooped up in small cages where they grow increasingly sad. And that's what this is. This is a happy aquarium. So on this side, we have some larger fish, or should I say mammals, because weirdly enough, dolphins are mammals. And here's a dolphin right now that can swim up and down. And she's pink, my favorite color. And one of the characters can actually ride the dolphin. Maybe some dolphins actually enjoy being ridden by humans. But to me, I just don't think animals should be used for entertainment purposes, especially sea animals. Because animals like horses and donkeys and mules, they're meant to carry heavy things. But dolphins, leave them alone. Just leave them alone. 
And back there, there's a whale because we've totally seen a whale at an aquarium before. And a shark back there. All of these animals live in harmony together. They don't harm one another. I think this is a kiosk, but I'm not sure if they're selling something. Or maybe it's one of those areas where you can pet some of the sea creatures. And over here, we have a polar bear and penguin habitat. Where in the Arctic, we see some snow, a snowman here. Now this looks like an actual aquarium because it's rectangular. We can see some water, some sea life. And when we open it up, we can see more sea life. There's even a frog. We have some amphibians over here. I mean, overall, it's a smorgasbord of random animals that should not be living together. I'm also pretty sure that polar bears eat otters. So uh, I'm watching you, polar bear. Here is Polly, and it looks like she has goggles on, which means she's probably one of the animal trainers. I advise you to get a new job, Polly. You shouldn't be encouraging animals to be performers. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think he's the first boy Polly Pocket we get with the new reboot where the hinges are back and the little feet pegs have been introduced. So yeah, I guess he is our first boy, unless I'm forgetting a boy character that I showcased before. We get tons of animal friends in this compact, so first up we have this sea lion. Are sea lions and seals the same thing? Seal is just a shorter word for sea lion. Then we have a narwhal, and I actually love how she's designed. I love how she's not all just one color. She even has textures on her belly and textures on her horn. And we have a pink dolphin, similar to the one we just showed in the compact. A penguin waving hello. Hello, a sea turtle, so cute. And of course, we have a cute little otter. She's holding a little star. Oh my god, she is actually super cute. I love her. And here are the tiniest, cutest sea creatures. Here's a fish, a seahorse, a crab, and a starfish. I just want to do a close-up of the seahorse because the details on it are actually super cute. I love baby seahorses. We have this thing, which I do not understand what it does, but it spins around and round. Then we have a seahorse seesaw. Try saying that five times fast. And finally, we have a giant water slide. Up next, we have Rice and Rock Arcade. I really love the design of this one. It kind of looks like an old school Game Boy, but from far away, you can see that it's one of those giant arcade games. Here's the little ticket dispenser, the coin slot, speakers in the shape of a heart. The joystick does not move, it's static, which is unfortunate. The buttons also don't really have any sort of interactions. It's all just flat, but it's definitely a cute design. I love the confetti, the stars, red, white, and blue. Perfect because it's almost the 4th of July. Behind it, you can actually see Tetris. I love how it's really just a rectangle because first of all, it stands without any issues. And from the side, it really does look like an old school Game Boy. And on the back, we just have some beautiful stars and rainbows. It definitely looks like a place where you would throw a birthday party or where you and your friends would gather after a long soccer game or if you just won math leads. Basically a fun after school event. Down here, it looks like some sort of roller rink. It reminds me of that scene in the newest season of Stranger Things. When we spin this trophy here, we can see the tracks move. It is in fact not a roller rink, but some kind of racing game perhaps. Here's just your basic dining area where you can order pizza and sodas and just some fun textures and designs all around the floor. And these designs back here are made to look like giant pixels. Very cute. And up the stairs, we see more activities. Here's a fun game that looks like DDR. You can spin this platform to pretend that you're playing. I've never actually played this game and I think I would be really bad at it. And here are some stuffed animal prizes. More old school arcade games up here. Here's Tetris, just like the front of this compact. This one kind of looks like one of those Candy Crush games. Your very classic claw games. And here's a pinball game. I also noticed there's this really 
long set of stairs that looks very dangerous to climb. And over here, we can already guess that this is a bowling alley. And when we open it up, there it is. We can see the rainbow pins, the scoreboard, and the bowling area over here. When I was a teenager, I was actually quite good at bowling. In fact, I showed so much promise that my dad thought I was going to be a pro bowler, so he bought me my own ball with my name engraved. Of course, as I grew up, I lost interest in all sports, but that was still a very fun moment for me. And here is Polly wearing a t-shirt that seems to be inspired by Pac-Man. And here is Shawnee wearing roller skates. Here we have a bowling ball and bowling pins. Here's a little basketball game. And it comes with this teeny tiny basketball which we can shoot in the hoop. I'm gonna try this once, but only once, because I don't want to lose the ball. I made it! I can't believe I actually made it. That was one shot, you guys. One shot. Here is our teddy bear prize. I wish it was painted in somehow. It kind of just looks like a ghost. A couple pixel hearts for decoration. Pink ranger and yellow ranger. The most unappetizing pizza I've ever seen. We get this little go-kart looking vehicle. A motorcycle. A racing game. We can flip through it. So here we are on a racetrack. I can't tell what kind of game this is supposed to be, but it definitely looks retro. This one kind of looks like Mario of some sort. I can see some pipes. And here are some cute little details. We have controllers with heart buttons. And lastly, we have a ping pong table. And lastly, we have Soccer Squad. Well, isn't she the coolest soccer ball you've ever seen? She's got pink heart sunglasses with shiny heart confetti. She's got rosy cheeks and a big smile. I also love how they made her lavender instead of just black and white. And on the back, we have the continued soccer ball pattern. I'm really loving how creative Mattel is getting with the new compact designs. The confetti, the fuzzies, then the squishies in the previous Polly Pockets. So I really wonder what they're gonna think of next. This one is bright and colorful. It definitely has an outdoor summer vibe. Again, back with the orange. They love using orange in these new compacts. But I don't dislike it too much because it does remind me of the early 2000s. It has a somewhat psychedelic feel to it. Down here, we have all kinds of activities going on again, just like the bow. Our main activity here seems to be soccer. We also have this area which looks like a basketball court. And these little stars are for our characters to stand on and they can just kind of move around the field. We have tennis back here, soccer, we got a duffel bag and some bottled water, a skateboard, and a jump rope. So this here is our skate area. There's this ramp where we can practice our sick moves, and there's a lightning because we're going really fast. A bunch of sports equipment. We've got baseball, basketball, volleyball. Here's the scoreboard. Does this mean we're losing? There's a soccer ball there. Another podium with first, second, and third place. I think that one's badminton, and that one back there is ping pong. So we definitely have tons of activities to do here. This kind of reminds me of free period in PE where you can just kind of do whatever you want. And I, of course, was one of the kids who just sat on these steps and did nothing. PE was really not my thing. And once again, all around here, they've taken the time to add some textures. And this time it's grass because we are outside. Up here, the sports get a little more intense. We have this giant rock wall that we can climb. Not gonna lie, this looks like a giant turd. And right in here, we get a pretty polygraphic with a sun, rainbows, clouds, sports balls. Although the print quality is a little bit weird. It's a little blurry and grainy. And right up this ladder, we get to the diving board. And behind is an ocean with the sun shining bright, an area to relax. And when we open this up, we can dive right in the pool. And we get a unicorn floaty. How cute. And I believe you can actually fill this with water. We don't have Polly this time, but we do have character number one. She's brunette with pigtails and she's got a swimsuit on. And character number two who looks absolutely awesome with her lavender hair. And it looks like she's ready to play a lot of these contact sports. We get a floaty. Now we've gotten a few of these from the other compacts and I just absolutely love them. I think they're really cute and they kind of feel like candy which makes me want to put it in my mouth and eat it. I won't 
but I want to. Here is our skateboard and a scooter. We have a tennis racket with a ball glued on it and a baseball bat with another ball glued on it, a soccer ball and a basketball, a number one trophy because winning is everything. We have a soccer net, a basketball hoop, which doesn't have the same contraption as the other basketball hoop we saw at the arcade. A volleyball set, which reminds me of the one in one of the vintage sets. I don't remember the exact one. Of course, we have to stay hydrated, so here is our cooler full of beverages and a table where we can put some accessories. And that was the Big Pocket World activity set. I love the exterior, they're very cute and eye-catching. Although the interiors are getting a little bit repetitive, Mattel makes up for it with a creative exterior design. Thank you for watching this Polly Pocket Showcase, and I'll see you on the next one.